Hi, and welcome to Backer Breaks It Down. Here, we're going to take a look at the results from your transformations investigations. So a transformation is a mapping of all the points of a figure in a plane according to a common operation. So the original figure is called the pre-image and the new figure created is called the image. So the first transformation that you looked at were translations and translations slide the figures creating a new figure. Um, some properties of translations, it says that the distances from the pre-image points to the image points are equal. Okay, so they're talking about these dashed lines that you see in the diagram to the right. Okay, these dashed lines are also going to be parallel to each other. And then the corresponding segment sides of the pre-image and the image are also parallel. So like um, side AB is parallel to side A prime, B prime. So in the investigation, you had to um, translate uh, the Mona Lisa about the coordinate plane. And hopefully you noticed some things, some patterns when it comes to those X and Y coordinates. Um, so in the Mona Lisa on the left, all right, um, that yellow arrow is indicating um, the distance and direction the Mona Lisa was translated. And so in this one, she was translated up and then to the left, five units. So we went up two and left five. So when you look at the, um, the corresponding vertices, you have negative one, negative one became negative six, one. So moving it left five decreased the X coordinate by five units. So um, whenever we move any of our figures to the left, that's what's gonna happen. The X values are going to decrease by that value. Um, moving it up, like our Y coordinate went from negative one to positive one. So our Y coordinate increased by those two units. On the right side over here, the Mona Lisa was moved down three. And then she was moved, it looks like, right six. And so you'll notice like the corresponding X coordinates, you went from negative one to five. Well, it went right six, so those X values increased by six. And moving it down three, it went from negative one Y value to negative four, so it decreased. Right? So these are what's happening to our coordinates when we translate figures on the coordinate plane. Reflections, we think of those as a flip. Okay. Now, some key things here. It says that the reflection line is the perpendicular bisector of the segments connecting the corresponding vertices of the image and the pre-image. And so you'll notice in the diagram um, that they're showing that it's the perpendicular, because you got that little right angle box. And it's also showing you that like the distance that like C prime is from the line of reflection is equal to the distance that C is from the line of reflection. Okay. Um, and then all of these are also parallel to each other. So some things that happened here with the Mona Lisa, like up here, whoops, sorry about that. Up here, the Mona Lisa was reflected over the X axis. And so notice what happened to her coordinates. So here we have a coordinate of five negative four and it became five positive four. So when we reflect a figure over the X axis, what happens is the X doesn't change at all, but the Y value changes signs. So don't think of that negative Y as being like it becomes negative. I like to think of it as like negative one times Y. There's a sign change. When Mona Lisa was reflected over the Y axis, notice that the point negative two, negative four became negative two, negative four. So we go over the Y axis, the X coordinate's going to undergo that sign change and nothing's gonna happen to the Y value, okay? 
And then the very last one we have here, this is the line y equals x. So the Mona Lisa was reflected over that line there. And so her original point of two, negative four became negative four, two. So there was a switch, like the X and Y coordinates like switched places. Um, rotations. Okay, so during a rotation, every point is moved the exact same degree arc along the circle defined by the center of rotation and the angle of rotation. And so this picture is illustrating that. So the point A became A prime, okay? And they're all moved the same degree arc. So arcs have a met, like they have a length, but they also have like a degree measure. And so like that arc degree is the same, even if it like doesn't really look like it. When you look at the picture, it doesn't really look like it, but it is. And it's just following that angle of rotation, that same degree measure there. Um, the distances from the pre-image points to the image points are not equal. So from A to A prime, B to B prime, C to C prime, these aren't equal, like we saw with other transformations. Um, they're also not parallel to each other. For rotations, you played around with the three basic rotations with the Mona Lisa. Um, so the very first one here, we're looking at 90 degrees um, counterclockwise. So when we go 90 degrees counterclockwise, notice when it comes to our X and Y coordinates, it's like they switched places, but also like the new X coordinate changed its sign. And so that's kind of like what our coordinate rule is like indicating here. So the X and Y switch places and the new X coordinate has a different sign. Um, this one right here is that um, 180 degree rotation. So they're showing the five negative four becomes um, negative five, four. Um, so there's a double sign change here. And then this last one, this is the 90 degrees clockwise. And they're showing that the point five negative four became, it's kind of hard to see because it's covered up, but it became negative four, negative five. So there was once again a switch and then a sign change on the new Y there. So hopefully you caught like these patterns during your investigation. Um, you wanna be able to like apply these rules like without like plotting figures on the coordinate plane. You wanna be able to determine like their new coordinates. Um, and so we can use these rules to help us do that. Um, so we'll just take a look at some examples. Um, so number one, it says use the translation x, y becomes x minus five, y plus eight. Um, so verbally, we're looking at left five and up eight. And so what is the image of D if D is negative one, five? Well, if I take, so the dimmit, the dimmage, the image of D, so D prime, if I go negative one, I go left five, I'm gonna get negative six. Um, and if I go five up eight, I'm gonna get 13. So that's pretty easy. Um, part B is saying, what is the pre-image of K prime? So K prime, that is like the result. So what point did you start with? And then you moved it left five and up eight, and you got this. Well, if you moved left five and you got seven, that means you started with an X value of 12. And then you went left five. Um, and so for the negative five, that was the result after you moved it up eight. So where were you before moving up eight? If you ended up at negative five, you would have been at what? Negative 13. And then you went up eight and you get negative five. Okay. Um, problem two has us looking at the graph of triangle ABC. And they're asking us to do quite a few things here. So we need to pay attention to like, which um, of our vertices we're working with because they do switch that up. So I'm just gonna like write down um, the original coordinates. So like A right now is originally at 
negative 1, negative 3. B is at 1, 1. And C is at 5, negative 1. I've got my rules here at the bottom, so we don't just keep going back and forth. So reflection over the x-axis. So if I were to take A and reflect it over the x-axis, um, nothing's going to happen to um, the x-coordinate. It's still going to be at negative 1, but the y-coordinate's going to change sign, and so it'd be at 3. And that's what like this rule here is stating. Point B, rotation 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. So when I go 90 degrees clockwise, notice that like X and Y are going to switch places and the new Y coordinate is going to have a different sign. So B prime, X and Y switch places, the new Y coordinate has a different sign. C, translation right 4 and down 5. So if I go right 4, that's 5 plus 4, gives me 9. And if I go down 5, that's negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. Point C, reflection over the y-axis. So that means the x-coordinate will undergo a sign change. The y-coordinate will stay the same. Point A, rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise. So with this, the X and Y switch places and the new X coordinate has a different sign. So X and Y switch places and the new X coordinate has a different sign. So we're looking at positive three, negative one. And B says translation left seven and up 10. So if I'm at one and I go left, so one minus seven, it's gonna be what, negative six. And then if I'm at one, I go up 10, so I add say 11. Um, it is totally possible to combine two or more transformations um, to create a new image. Um, order is important. Okay, so let's just take a look at what's happening here. So we start with A, B, C, D. Yikes, sorry about that. Um, and then it becomes A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, and then the double prime. So what happened here? Well, it appears that A, B, C, D was moved right four units and then down five. And then there's a rotation. Um, and so it's like 90 degrees and it's going clockwise. And problem four. What happens? So we start with A, B, C, D, becomes our red image, and the red becomes green. So we start with a reflection over the x axis, and then it was rotated 90 degrees, this time counterclockwise. Yeah, room there. So this is just a um, breakdown of transformations. You have all studied transformations in the past. So this was just a really quick review and reminder of transformations, specifically translations, rotations, and reflections, and you know, also kind of like creating these coordinate rules. So when we see the coordinate rules, we understand what they're saying. We can use the coordinate rules to help us find coordinates of our image without graphing. Um, there's some other notation here that you should just be aware of because, you know, like, you know, when it comes to like AZ Merit or other texts, like you might see the function notation, um, but we primarily are going to focus with our coordinate rules, right? But that's it for now. See you next time on Backer Breaks It Down.